the number one black white supremacist in America, says black people are soft and cry like B words. Yep, let's put it up full mass. This is going to be quite interesting. Owens would post the following about black people. I am not kidding when I say that over 90% of my podcast content criticizes white people in politics and culture. But because black people are soft, emotional, and have had their brains rotted by Black Lives Matter. In the rare circumstances that I cover a black topic, they cry like, mm. This was in response to the blowback she received from following a tweet about Juneteenth. Juneteenth is still ghetto and made up. Hope everyone enjoys it. Let's just pause on that moment for a second. She believes it's ghetto because it's black. Who's doing the race baiting, Ms. Owens? Juneteenth is a federal holiday now. But even before it was a federal holiday, it was a state holiday in many places. Primarily Texas, they celebrate it like no other. So while you say it is ghetto, where do you get this reference from? Also, when you say it is made up, all holidays, madam, are made up. But there's more fact in Juneteenth than in, let's say, Christmas. Would you not agree? There's more. Let's put it up. Candace Owens says, last week on my podcast, I covered Lance. Uh, Bass, Megan Fox, David Rubin, Prince Harry, blah, blah, blah. But mm, Juneteenth, generally speaking, black people today are emotionally silly and, and petty and putty and cannot take any criticism without crying racism. I, I find this ironic, Ms. Owens, because you told us that people were being racist against your husband. You told us this. Uh, let's put it up. Uh, you see the white man? That's her husband. She said that people are racist against him. So I want you to remember when Owen's husband, George Farmer, tried to hire acclaimed designer David Neto to work on their home. And Neto wrote the following reply via email. Dear George, thank you for your inquiry. I'd rather get beat in the ASS with a wooden plank than ever go near either of you. Kind regards, David. Okay, Candace would then cry, racism is the reason for that response. If a white conservative male had written that email to an outspoken black liberal, he would have lost everything, she said. They would have said it was like Jim Crow. So she cries racism because somebody doesn't like um, them. Not because of their race, uh, because he believes they they are simply horrible people. Yeah, Uh, or how about this other claim? Let's put it up. When she called the CEO of the American Sellers Association racist for labeling her book as uh, racist. Candace Owens says, I am calling for a public apology from a BA book and Allison Hill. It is an act of unspeakable, explicit racism for a white woman to send around an email slandering and denigrating an autobiographical book from a black woman who came from nothing. We cannot accept this racism, end quote, Candace Owens. <laughs> Ma'am, you are, I gotta say this, Candace, you're damn good at what you do, okay? Challenge you to come on the bullpen. I've been challenging you for what, two years plus. Um, you can hop your happy ass up y'all anytime you want to, all right? I will reschedule others to make sure you have on the red carpet as you obviously feel you deserve. Um, you do need a straightening, you need a lesson. I engage you in a debate anytime, any place. Anywhere, your hypocrisy, pound for pound, madam, 
is more aggressive and severe than 10 Donald Trump's combined. Just looking over your trajectory from claiming the NAACP race baits to having them support you when you claimed there was racism against you inside of a school. The hypocrisy, it's unreal. All right, Max thoughts. This is the same Candace Owens who says that doctors should be forced to debate Elon Musk about the COVID vaccine. Right. Yet for some reason won't take up a debate invitation for your show. So maybe you know she just missed the memo. But this is so classic Candace Owens to call black people whiny complainers by whining and complaining on Twitter to drive your traffic. And it really does show how for black Americans, there's no way to win. You can be 13 and they're calling you a violent black thug or you're too emotional and whiny and not tough enough. So where is the middle Mm. ground here? And for Candace Owens, I would just love to know when racism actually exists because she seems to have a really complicated relationship with the idea. Yeah, exactly. All right, we will bring you the update if she ever accepts my offer.